jinkies. I'm so glad Mr. Maynard invited us to Ironton Elementary. It's so groovy to be back in school. <laughs> I'll say, me and Scoop can always go for some more food. Plus, Fred can finally graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Shaggy. Is there a bathroom around? I need to check my hair. Good grief. Hey, gang. I'm Mr. Ashworth. I'll be showing you guys around. Hey, that would be great. Mr. Ashworth, you have some green icing on your face. Did somebody say icing? <laughs> you know what icing? I don't know what that is. Come on, gang. I'll show you around. Mr. Ashworth, Mr. Ashworth, there's a scary um, ghost inside of our room. We can't get to our treats. We're all having a party. Oh, no. This sounds like some kind of mystery. We can help. No way I'm staying right here where there is no monster and only lots of delicious food. Yeah, food, no monster. <laughs> Don't be a scaredy cat, Scoob. Would you do it for two Scooby Snacks? No, three. <laughs> All right, Scoob, three. Come on, gang. I'll unlock Mr. Willoughby's class for you. Shaggy, you and Scoob tie this dollar to a string, and when the ghost chases it, we'll come up from behind him from Mr. Crotzenberg's room. Sounds good. Here, ghost, here's a little dollar. Here's a little dollar for you. Jinkies, look! Here's a pair of cool sunglasses and some hair gel. Well, there's no way that those could be Mr. Willoughby's. He's not cool enough for sunglasses. <laughs> and he has short hair. What kind of hair gel is that? Hmm, I wonder. We've got to trap this ghost! Does anyone have any more money? Oh, brother! Scoob, let's hope this works the first time or we won't have any money for ice cream! <laughs> yeah! Rocky Road! <laughs> Here's the dollar of the dollar! My ice cream dollar! It's time to unmask this ghost. Uh, Miss Cindy? Not so fast. Miss Cindy may have been the ghost, but she wasn't the one behind it, was she, Mr. Ashworth? What? You see, when Mr. Ashworth met us this morning, Fred noticed that he had a little icing on his face. Then when we discovered that giant bottle of men's lightning bolt hair gel, I realized Mr. Ashworth's hair looked bad and he needed some. He must have forgotten to pick it back up when he was stealing all the goodies from our kids. Ah! But I only have one question. What's Miss Cindy have to do with all of this? 
first said he was going to fire me if I didn't help him get the cupcakes from the kids. Ah, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for these meddling kids. <laughs>